Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, May 26th. I hope you all had a wonderful long weekend um, and you were able to do something fun, spend some time with your family, um, and rest up a little bit so that we can start this week strong. So today we have a new text for Read Aloud. It's called Shh, Don't Wake the Animals. Um, so we probably know something about what this uh, what this text is going to be about. But before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to get to the materials that you'll need for today, just in case we forgot, because, you know, it was a long weekend, so we might have, might have just flown out of our brains. Um, so let's go to our distance learning folder. We're going to go to first grade. Then we're going to go to read aloud. Then we're going to go to this week, May 26th to May 29th. And we're, oh, yep, it's right here. There's no Monday. I forgot there was no Monday. Um, but there's Tuesday, May 26th. And here you will have the materials. Today, you're only handing in the exit ticket. So just a longer response on, um, on your paper. All right. So we're going to go to our text today. We're going to present it. And it says, shh. Don't wake the animals. Um, and I'm actually, so I'm going to start reading it. And it's a short text today, so we'll probably read it multiple times. Um, and you will also, it'll be easy to tell right off the bat what genre this is. Um, so your first job is to look for text features. Um, so while we're reading this uh, for the first time, you're going to pay attention to what's going on and also what text features you see. So let's get started. Shh, don't wake the animals. The big sleep. We say that some animals sleep for the winter, but they really hibernate. What's the difference? A sleeping animal's body relaxes and slows, but a hibernator's body practically shuts down. That helps it save energy in winter when food is scarce. Arctic ground squirrels curl up underground for eight months a year. During that time, their hearts and breathing nearly stop and their temperatures can drop to below freezing. It's crazy. Little brown bats are champion sleepers. They hibernate in damp caves all winter long. The rest of the year, they wake for only a few hours each night to hunt insects. During the day, they sleep hanging upside down in dark, cozy roosts. Um, this says, on your feet. On your feet. You might think that birds sleep in nests. Nope. Nests are for eggs and babies. To sleep, most birds just squat on a cozy branch, tuck their beaks into their feathers for warmth, and close their eyes. When a bird roosts, its toes automatically lock around its perch and won't let go until the bird wakes and straightens its legs. So this is how the bird doesn't fall off the branch while it's sleeping. When it perches, or when it, what is it, when it roosts, when it roosts, it's got its claws and it's holding on to the branch. So you see right here, it's holding on to the branch and the toes won't let go until the bird wakes up, so it's impossible for it to fall. Um, wild horses always need to be ready to run from mountain lions, wolves, and other dangers, so they sleep standing up. A horse's legs lock in place to keep it from falling while it naps. Horses do lie down to sleep deeply, but only when a dozing friend stands nearby. So these horses who are all lying down are in a deep sleep. It's like the kind of sleep that you guys do or that we all do at night, which is really deep. Um, it's so that we get a lot of rest. But this horse is only napping and um, it's standing up so that if it detects any danger, if it hears anything, smells anything, um, it's already standing up and it can alert the other horses if um, there is some danger nearby. Um, yep, that is the entire article. So, I'm sure you can tell from the text that we've read that this um, is a nonfiction text. It's teaching us about something. So, the first thing that we have to figure out is what 
hex features do you see in this article? I'm going to flip through the pages and you write down what hex features you see. Go ahead. All right, so at the beginning, we always start with the title. So we know that title is one of our text features, and the title is Shh, Don't Wake the Animals. Then we've got some headings. So we have this heading right here, The Big Sleep, um, where it talks about hibernation and the animals that hibernate. And then this heading says On Your Feet. So these are animals, uh, or this uh the text under this heading is about animals that can stand up while they sleep or sleep while they stand up um so we've got titles headings and the pictures we see are photographs so that is the other text feature we have photographs as well so we have titles headings and photographs all right so the next question is what is the main topic what is this article all about i'm going to flip through it and then see if you can figure out what this article is about and we'll go over it together. Go ahead. All right, so in this article, we see um, different photographs of different animals, and the title says, Shh, don't wake the animals. So we know it has something to do with, to do with animals. Um, now, there are a bunch of different kinds of animals in the text, but they're all doing the same thing um, or something similar. All of these animals are sleeping. So this the main topic of this article is sleeping animals or how animals sleep the main topic of this article is how animals or how different animals sleep all right now we can start answering the multiple choice question. So our first question, our first multiple choice question is, what does the word champion mean on page one? All right, so let's go to page one and see where it says champion. Ah, uh, right here. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yellow. Well, we can highlight it. Nah, you can't really see it that well. Okay. Never mind, friends. I thought I would try something new, but it didn't really work. So we're just going to underline it instead. So champion. There's the word right there. Um, and now we need to read the text around it to see if we can figure out what it means. Little brown bats are champion sleepers. They hibernate in damp caves all winter long. The rest of the year, they wake for only a few hours each night, 
to hunt insects. During the day, they sleep hanging upside down in dark, cozy roosts. All right, so the little brown bats are champion sleepers. Well, we know that they sleep a lot. They hibernate all winter long, um, and then for the rest of the year, they're only awake for a few hours each night. Um, and then they end up sleeping for the entire the rest of the night and then the whole entire day. So they sleep a lot and they seem really good at sleeping. Um, so I'm going to think that champion probably means like really good. Um, so let's see what the choices are. We have awesome, really good, or terrible. All right, let's see if the word awesome fits in there. Little brown bats are awesome sleepers. All right, well, if we know that they sleep a lot, um, they hibernate all winter long, they sleep all day long, and they're only awake for a few hours a night, um, yeah, they are pretty awesome sleepers. So let's circle that. We know that this is one correct answer. Um, really good. That's the next option. Let's double check, but I think that's another good answer. Um, little brown bats are really good sleepers. They hibernate in damp caves all winter long, and the rest of the year they wake for only a few hours each night to hunt insects, and during the day they sleep hanging upside down in dark, cozy roosts. Well, yeah, they sound like really good sleepers to me, so let's circle that one too. Remember, these multiple choice questions can have more than one answer. All right, option number three is terrible. Mm, this one doesn't really seem like it fits, because if um, they're really good at sleeping or they're awesome sleepers and they sleep a lot and for a really long time, um, then they're not going to be terrible at sleeping. They're going to be really good at sleeping. So let's cross out terrible. So the correct answers are A and B. Awesome and really good. And awesome and really good are synonyms. They mean similar things. So that makes sense that they're both correct answers. All right, now we've got some true and false questions. Um, using the diagram on the last page, oh, that's a mistake on my part. We're not supposed to use a diagram. Um, using the article, the entire article, are these sentences true or false? Write T for true and F for false. So, horses are able to sleep standing up. All right, so let's go with to uh, the text where it's about horses. We see this horse standing up right here. I'm not sure if it's sleeping though. Wild horses always need to be ready to run from mountain lions, wolves, and other dangers. So they sleep standing up. Okay. So they sleep standing up. So horses can sleep standing up. A horse's legs lock in place to keep it from falling while it naps. So can these, uh, can horses, are horses able to sleep standing up? Yes, so this is true. All right, the next one. Arctic brown squirrels sleep for 10 months a year. All right, let's go back to the beginning because that's where we found um, the Arctic ground squirrels. See if you can figure out if that sentence is true or false. These Arctic ground squirrels sleep for 10, 10 months. Is that what I said? Sleep for 10 months a year. See if that's true or false. Go ahead. All right, so let's look at the um, the text. This is the text that's about the Arctic ground squirrel. So Arctic ground squirrels curl up underground for eight months. During that time, their hearts and breathing nearly stop, and their temperatures can drop to below freezing. All right, so they're underground and sleeping for eight months. So let's uh, put a bracket around that sentence for eight months. Let's go back and see what this said. 
Arctic ground squirrels sleep for 10 months a year. Ooh, that is different. So that has to be false. They don't sleep for 10 months. They sleep for eight months a year. So this is false. All right, the next one. All birds sleep in nests. Here we go. Here is the text about the bird. So let's see. Do all birds sleep in nests? See if you can find that text evidence to see whether this is true or false. Go ahead. All right, all birds sleep in nests. Let's read this and see if that's true. You might think that birds sleep in nests. Nope, nests are for eggs and babies. Hmm. All right, I think we have our answer right here. You might think that birds sleep in nests. Nope, nests are for eggs and babies. To sleep, most birds just squat on a cozy branch tuck their beaks into their feathers for warmth and close their eyes. So are all, do all birds sleep in nests? Nope, just baby birds. So this is false. All right, let's look at this last one. Little brown bats are only awake for a few hours at night. Little brown bats are only awake for a few hours at night. All right, so here's the text about the little brown bats. You can see it in here. It's camouflaging, so you can't really see it. Um, so true or false, the little brown bats on, are only awake for a few hours a night. Um, see if you can find that text evidence. Go ahead. All right, so the sentence was, little brown bats are only awake for a few hours at night. So let's read this text and see if that's true or false. Little brown bats are champion sleepers. We, we know now that that means that they're really good sleepers. Um, they hibernate in damp caves all winter long. The rest of the year, they wake for only a few hours each night to hunt insects. During the day, they sleep hanging upside down in dark, cozy roosts. All right, so our text evidence that we use to answer that question is right here. The rest of the year, they wake for only a few hours each night to hunt insects. Little brown bats are only awake for a few hours at night. According to the article, that is true because they wake for a few hours each night to hunt insects. So we've got true, false, false, true. All right, my friends, now we can move on to the exit ticket. How do each of the animals in the article sleep? Use details from the text to describe how each animal in the article sleeps in its own unique way. Remember to use text evidence and write in complete sentences. So for your exit ticket, you're explaining how each animal sleeps. Now, each of these animals sleeps in a unique way. Um, so you're going to describe how each of those animals sleep. So you need to be writing about four animals. You've got the um, Arctic ground squirrel, little brown bat, birds, and horses. So for example, the Arctic ground squirrel, it goes underground and it sleeps for eight 
months out of the year. And when it does that, it um, its heart rate or its heartbeat and its breathing almost completely stops and the their body temperatures get really, really cold. So see, when I said that, I used my own words. I didn't copy it right from the text. That is what you should do for the Arctic ground squirrel and the rest of the animals. Um, make sure you understand how they sleep so that you can then explain in your own words um, how they sleep in their own ways. All right, my friends, awesome work today. I'm glad you all um, had, I hope you all had wonderful three-day weekends and that you are back and ready to learn. All right, my friends, I will see you tomorrow.